Cat Mojo. As I sit here in my dimly lit study, surrounded by stacks of dusty books and the faint scent of mildew, I can't help but feel a sense of unease. It's as if something is lurking just beyond the edge of my perception, waiting to pounce. I've always been a cat lover, and I've had my fair share of feline companions over the years. But this one, Cat Mojo, is different. He's a sleek black cat, with piercing green eyes that seem to bore into my very soul. At first, I thought he was just a stray that had wandered into my home, but as the days passed, I began to notice strange occurrences. Doors would slam shut on their own, and I would hear strange scratching noises coming from the walls. I tried to brush it off as the wind or mice, but deep down, I knew it was Cat Mojo. One night, I was working late in my study when I felt a cold, wet nose nudge my hand. I looked up to see Cat Mojo sitting on my desk, staring at me with an unblinking gaze. I tried to shoo him away, but he refused to leave. Instead, he began to speak to me in a low, raspy voice. I've been watching you, he said. I've been waiting for you. I was shocked and terrified, but I tried to keep my composure. What do you want from me? I asked, my voice shaking. I want your soul, he replied, his eyes glinting with a malevolent glow. I laughed, trying to pretend that this was all just a silly game, but Mojo was not amused. He began to growl, his fur standing on end, and I knew that I was in grave danger. I tried to run, but my legs were frozen with fear. Mojo was too quick, and he pounced, his razor-sharp claws sinking deep into my flesh. I screamed, but my voice was drowned out by the sound of my own heart pounding in my ears. As I lay there, bleeding and helpless, Mojo leaned in close, his breath hot on my face. You should have taken better care of me, he hissed. Now you're mine. And with that, he disappeared into the shadows, leaving me alone and dying on the floor of my study.